from the Storm Team Weather Lab, KMAC meteorologist Jacob Riley. Well, good Sunday evening to you. We are finishing up the weekend here, but we're doing it on a pretty cool note out across the area. Starting you off with a live sky view right now from our Overton East camera. You can see the lights of the Hub City here. We are dry and we're going to remain dry throughout the rest of the overnight hours tonight. Current time 1018 and it's already 58 degrees here in Lubbock tonight. We're not going to expect any rainfall tonight across the area. You can see our radar is dry. These few little specks you see there, that's just ground clutter showing up here on our radar this evening. Out across the region, though, we had a cold front move through early. You can see a few more showers and storms still down near Abilene. Here in Lubbock, though, we are dry winds out of the north. That's ushering in some cooler air. It is finally going to feel like fall for the next couple of days this week. Out across the area right now, our wind gusts are pretty strong. You can see gusting upwards and even over 30 miles an hour at times, especially to the south of Lubbock. Winds have calmed down a little bit to the north and that trend will continue overnight. Our live and local data sites, though, are kind of showing this as well. You can see winds right now out of the northeast, 19 miles an hour in Seminole, 10 miles an hour here at KMAC. Gusted upwards of 38 miles an hour earlier, though, 64 in La Mesa. Another thing we're going to notice are these temperatures drops already 56 degrees in Plainview, and we will see those temperatures continue to fall as we go throughout the rest of your overnight hours. So forecasted highs tomorrow are going to be cooler, too, thanks to that cold front that moved in. You see here in the upper 60s, lower 70s down south, but some places will not even get out of the lower 60s tomorrow thanks to that cold front coming through. Just to let you know, average high this time of year is around 74, 75 degrees, so we will be actually below average for a change for your Monday tomorrow. So here's the situation right now. This jet stream kind of dipped down into our area today. That was cold front number one that moved into the region. So we're watching cold front number two. This is on Wednesday. You see still back over up towards Idaho. That will eventually swing on into our area as we get into your Friday and Saturday. This is going to bring us some more uh, colder air. Not really expecting a whole lot of rain out of this, but it's definitely going to be pretty cool out there. And then by Sunday, kind of begins to moderate across our area. So we will see um, a little bit of warming next weekend, but through Wednesday, we could see a little short wave of energy move through that could bring us some scattered showers and storms, not expecting a whole lot across the area, but nonetheless, some locations could see around a five hundredths of an inch of rainfall between now and Thursday morning. So our climate outlook is showing well below average temperatures over the next six to 10 days and take a look as we head into this weekend. We will warm back up to the 80s as we head into your Wednesday, but by Friday morning we will be in the 30s across the area. Some locations could in fact see their first freeze of the season, but for tonight 44 degrees, a pretty chilly night and breezy too, gusting out of the northeast around 20 miles an hour at times. Your seven day forecast, this one's really picking up Tuesday through Friday, but look at that for Saturday morning, Nicolette, 37 degrees. Being from Miami, how do you feel about that? I'm not ready. I was just telling my parents, I get nervous when it's winter time really? because I just get so cold. I don't even want to go outside. <laughs> you have a lot of plants too. You got to be sure to bring those in. Okay, yeah, that's Saturday something morning. I was just thinking about right now. I have a lemon tree outside and it has to come in tonight. Definitely want to bring it in. I'm it's still nervous. a couple of days out. We're going to keep watching it for you guys at home, but it does look <laughs> like we are going to see temperatures in the 30s as we go into your Saturday morning. So I'm scared. Don't be Thanks, scared. Jacob. Okay. <laughs> well, coming up.